Oh uh, man, uh, I gotta hurry up and do my holy dragon grounds before the fucking reset happens, man. <sighs> you know, it's, it's wonderful. It's a great day when you're just making a video and you know the game that you're playing just does everything right. You know, don't have to worry about stuff. I like that, man. One of my favorite things. And there it is. Line games. We need to talk. Ah. Now I'm pretty sure that you guys have run into the same issue. I thought that this issue was an emulator issue. So I was like, okay, let me not complain about it because it will be fixed. Um, it would definitely be fixed. I was actually trying to record a Holy Dragon guide. I think that, you know, I wanted to make one myself. And yes, I'm gonna talk here on the screen so you can see how long this thing actually doesn't go and it actually will not recover. It, does, it just does not recover. Um, so when it comes down to this thing freezing and it's, it's clearly that this was something done within the update of FC Rara coming into the game, I would have assumed that maybe if this was an issue with you using the character in the dungeon, maybe, but it seems as though it just happens to happen with my current team. It could be any one of these individual characters. It could be a multitude of things, but the problem is that I'm not the only one that's experiencing it. So I've been getting a lot of freezes lately and not just in the Holy Dragon Grounds. I'm using the Holy Dragon Grounds as an example because for some reason, no matter what other mode that I do, even if my game freezes, I can go back and do that same mode. But for some reason, the Holy Dragon Crown cannot be done at all. Now, what I'm making this video for is to one, bring awareness to it. If you guys are having an issue, it's not like you're... Yeah, and look, everything works, by the way. That's a good thing, like, to show you guys, like, it's not, it's not like the game is, like, completely frozen. Like, I could still type, do all this other stuff. I can't back out because this game does not give us, like, a back out option here do anything I don't know what causes it but it's frustrating man and uh and the reason why it's very frustrating is that if a free-to-play game is free to play and it doesn't ask for money and it has issues it's kind of like okay that's kind of the same thing when you buy a game that's on Steam and it's just like some random ass game and it doesn't work and you just kind of chuck it up to the game it's like ah you know whatever but these gacha games asking for extra money you know asking for these packages and stuff like that you have to earn that <laughs> the game has to earn that same thing when you buy these AAA games and they for some reason have microtransactions in them as well, you know, you have to earn that. And then I think Overwatch is one of the best examples of that is because it kind of did. I think that's why most people didn't mind Overwatch is because you played it and there was a ways to additionally fund the game by just buying loot boxes. It wasn't, a, wasn't anything that you had to do. It was purely cosmetic. And if you wanted to have increased chances and increased as in just more chances overall to then get the cosmetic skins and they had a nice little system that the more that you kept doing it you had got additional resources so eventually if you had would spend enough money you would eventually get what you wanted over time which is i think pretty nice i think it's a good system but in these games unfortunately us in the gacha community when games break <laughs> uh this game could be broken even worse this could be the the tip of the iceberg you know, it's it, it really puts a sour taste in your mouth that I can not do something that's really important in the game, but I can do some other stuff, and most importantly, I can still spend money. One really good example is that when a lot of games shut down, when they shut down the game, they usually shut down the shop. When they're saying like, well, the game is no longer going to be playable, we're going to shut down the shop so you guys can't spend any money. But even when the game is still active and playable and... You know, the community, they probably still have thousands upon thousands of people still playing. This is still unacceptable. And this is where compensation comes in. Now, when there's maintenance, I'm a big advocate for if there is maintenance, they don't technically have to give you compensation. Maintenance is a completely different thing because maintenance for like a patch is like they're adding a bunch of stuff into the game. They want to prevent stuff like this from happening. And if they do a maintenance, they add stuff to the game and it comes out flawlessly, I don't necessarily think that they have to compensate you because it took longer than expected or anything of that nature. Whatever, you should, it, it, you're not like you're in the game and you're suffering from it, you just can't play it. And it's not, in my opinion, the game's developer's fault that you're itching to play it. I mean, yes, that's what they want. They want you to be that passionate that you really, really, really want to get in there and play. But at the same time, yep, just... <laughs> It's gonna keep happening. Uh, at the same time, 
you know, it's not, you know, you can go outside, you can, you know, come back, check on the game every hour, a few hours. The opportunity that you're losing, like you can do your dailies literally as soon as the reset happens. You can do all that nonsense. Uh, so you don't really necessarily need to be on the game 24 seven. Only certain people really need to do that. Those are certain people with certain goals, but you can literally play the game for like an hour, two hours and you're fine. So whenever the reset happens, you're good. You know, if it takes longer, then it takes longer. I think that they should have a, a notification to let you know that, hey, the maintenance is done, so you don't have to keep checking on the game. But, you know, again, good quality of life issues that the game needs to have. So what I'm looking for as compensation is for specifically the Holy Dragon Grounds. I think that they the rewards to reflect what we're going to get because the, I highly doubt that this is going to be fixed by the time the reset happens. Eventually. Lo and behold, they just made a message, that little message that goes across the top, and they said that they have fixed the issue. So let's see if we can get a dragon run in. Oh, see, it's right up there. Only dragon ground freezing problem has been fixed. So they're saying that it's fixed now. So let's try to do a run. And even though that this, if this works or not, my point is still the same. They need to give out compensation. I'm actually going to cut out a decent amount of my video because now this is future me. And even if this works, there's a lot of people that is right now in my time, it's been frozen since I think almost like reset. It's been frozen since reset or something of that nature. Oh my God. All right, here's the moment of truth. And while the run is running, we'll see if it gets past that threshold. But like I was saying is that they actually still need to give compensation because a lot of people were playing and they probably went to sleep for the day, depending on your time zone or something like that. They probably have no idea that it's done and they're gonna miss their three runs for the day. So I think that what they should be doing, whether or not this works or not, that Shay should still compensate people. If they wanna compensate only the people that have three charges, which would kinda of screw me over, if they do like the maximum reward, which is what I think that they should do, maximum reward compensation for everyone, it costs them nothing. It doesn't matter if someone gets good gear rolls, which we're gonna do gear rolls at the end of this, which I've already done, but we're gonna go back to it. So let's see if this freezes or not. So I actually fell asleep. <laughs> uh, my freaking Deva died because Anna didn't want to heal her, and I just knocked out, dude. It took so long for them to get that score. Anywho, as you see, I got 104, right? So I think that for the most part, that everyone should get that. Even if, even if like how you guys see right now, I'm, I was still able to complete it. I still think that everyone should get at least 104, or if they want to do maximum reward and then times that by three. I think that is the very basis of the rewards that we deserve because the holy dragons were not was not doable for the multitude of the day plus there has been lag throughout the entirety of the game i haven't had ever since the rare update i haven't there's been way more freezing and it's truly but surely unacceptable and i think that that they should compensate us let me know in the comment section below if you think that they should we should have any conversation are you just happy let me check if they gave you any conversation before i talk my foot up my ass no no compensation so far i i think that that's a mistake I honestly do. It was down for most of the day, and most people probably were trying to do it, then went to sleep or went on with their day, and now you literally have, you have about seven hours to do it, which is a lot of time to be fair. It's not like, but there's no alert that's going on your phone to let you know that it's done. Seven hours is a shift, so what if you were to have had all the time before and then all of a sudden you had to start working right now? It's about to be nine o'clock, nine to five, you know, like so, I think that they should compensate people in some way, shape, or form for having a main, major, important part of the game down for as long as it was down for. So the rest of this video is going to be gear summons uh, to, to fluff it out so it gets 10 minutes. I'm gonna mention that as well at the end. So please forgive me. Uh, please forgive past me for speaking about past issues if I do. I don't know if I do. But uh, really good gear summons and that should be fun. But it's just to fluff out the video so it's uh, plus 10 minutes. The reason why is because uh, YouTube does not recommend your video unless it's 10 minutes. It's the algorithm. It's not my fault that if I want to do a short video, I have to extend it. So I had to add something else at the end. So I figured you guys would enjoy it. And yeah, so you guys will see a uh, summon video later on today. Yada yada. Peace. Do you think that we even deserve compensation? Do you think that this is a, a thing? But this is really important. Let's see what we get here. Is it even a super thing? No, it is not. So I didn't get anything. Uh, outside of this, this is actually pretty good. Like I was telling people that 
I do like this because you do get the purples, which is good. You do have a chance of exclusive. Meanwhile, the Airship Forge does not have that chance. You have no chance of getting an exclusive weapon. So this is equivalent to, it's like, what would you have gotten if I were to just, this is like one, one guaranteed in there versus 40 this. So I, you know, kind of equivalent. I'm not guaranteed a faded armor here at all. But I did get one. <laughs> Maybe more than one. I actually it'd be okay. So just one. Oh no, more than one. Another one. It is more than one. There's two. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> That's some BS. There goes three. That's probably it. So three. I got three out of that. Now was that very lucky? Absolutely, absolutely lucky. But I still get the purples that I need for the my other less loved characters. I still get blues that are gonna help me break them down to get purples, and I start to elevate the account because yes, it costs gold to take off purples, but the stuff that you go in farming, you're gonna get all that gold right back. And only you usually only need to keep switching purples because you don't have enough gear for those other characters. So eventually once you use, especially like those weird rare characters that you have to gear up, once they have their own gear, you're not gonna need to spend gold on that anymore so that was pretty much yes very lucky 28 is that gonna oh my god are we gonna be 99 oh no i only need to i'm like 99 like the, the pity is 100 it's fine so we're just gonna do that even more i highly doubt that we're gonna get a, a rare offer like 20 something it's very no nope, still got a still got another faded there i still think this is a better thing if you're going off of purely off the base of the amount another of one <laughs> getting faded armor this is how the people are doing it ladies and gentlemen this is how they're doing it this is how they're getting so many faded things and this is why it's so important to be able to farm the special dungeons and all this other stuff if the game is not working properly and it keeps freezing you can't do this and the people that are spending money in the game they can literally just do the airship roulette for 700 z's and not look back we need this stuff to work we need the holy dragon grounds and we need to be able to do our our daily dungeons and if that's not working it, we're you know we're kind of screwed and there goes the mileage and that's another one and it got some more boots anywho so a summon video coming later if they can fix this dragon stuff if they could fix it before i do my summon video before reset i'm doing it directly after reset and i'll buy that pack and then we'll have an additional summon but right now looking like we're gonna be in rough city <laughs> <laughs> but also maybe I should wait what do you guys think should I get the pack anyway or should I wait and see what the new packs are gonna give and then we can decide how to spend our money there or just not spend the money at all until they fix their shit all up to you but just remember that every day at the cashino is your lucky day and I'll see you guys in the next video peace